Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to enable DDoS protection uh, standard for a virtual network. How to enable Azure DDoS protection standard for a virtual network. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logging on to the portal and here it is. here okay to start with I'm gonna create a resource here because in the previous video we created Azure DDoS protection I'm gonna search virtual network here it is click on create I will create it in that resource group in which I have my DDoS and I will do my VNet the name of East US or the IP addresses. I'm gonna go with the defaults here. And you see here under security DDoS protection standard, right? So I'm gonna click on enable and uh, it says select choose a DDoS protection plan so this is the one that I created right so I'm gonna click on next so the plan that I select can be in the same or different subscription than the virtual network but both subscription must be associated to the same as your active directory tenant and you cannot move a virtual network to another resource group or subscription when DDoS standard is enabled for that virtual network if you need to move a virtual network with DDoS standard enabled uh, disabled DDoS first and then move the virtual network and then enable the DDoS standard uh, in the resource group in which you have moved so after the move the auto tuned policy threshold for all the protected public IP addresses in the virtual network are reset right so you click on next create and you click on create so this will create the virtual network with the ddos protection enabled and deployment is in progress so if you want to enable ddos protection for an existing virtual network so you will create the ddos uh, protection the way like we did and uh, when you will select the DDoS protection and you would standard, so there is an existing DDoS protection plan and you can associate an existing virtual network with your the DDoS protection. So now if under settings you go to DDoS protection, so this DDoS protection is enabled with this uh, plan. So you can create a new DDoS protection plan here as well. It will take you to the portal. and I will switch the directory I will delete this one so that every time I switch or log on to the portal I do not see this so you create the new one from here so you can do test to be DOS pro plan and you can select the same resource group and now I can create that in West US right so I'm gonna click on create it's validating it will deploy it and it's, the deployment is in progress right so this is how you do it now you go to resource this is the Right. This is the plan that you created. So under settings, you click on protected resources and you click on add. So you, you're not seeing it because this is in West US. Right. So if you open up the portal again. and you go here
you create our resource with select virtual network click create you select the same resource group you select my vnet but you see that it's already there so you can go with west us okay so it's my vnet 2 in the west us IP addresses for now let's go with the default let's not create a ddos protection plan here create and you click on create it's initializing the deployment submitting the deployment okay the deployment is in progress okay the deployment is complete if you go to here now you see the readers protection it is not enabled right so you go here and you, if you refresh this and now if i come under my ddos protection plan i click on protected resource and i click on add here under vnet it will give you a vnet that is not associated so you can select here and so this would be done for your existing virtual network like, like if you are creating a new one you can enable while the creation of a virtual network and if you already have a virtual network and you have uh, created a new ddos protection plan then you can associate it this way right so i hope you liked this video if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day